expectation is we're in and low first. It does go up a, another notch in the derby. Get in there and play proper footy! It's probably the biggest day for the Waffle Life for us. a derby, it's the biggest crowd and all that sort of stuff. Instead of Hollywood footy, running around and standing up in front of a big crowd. It's Derby Day. We're there as the players warm up. The fans roll up. I call this the original derby between Eastern Mount and South Mount. The crowd make it. They want to keep that derby rivalry alive. The coaches blow up. Get back to hard nose footy! Some have played in the big time. I got to play a little bit of AFL footy, I got a taste of it and I loved it. For others, it's game number one. <laughs> Access all areas. It's the footy like you've never seen it before. <laughs>Ryan Lester-Smith has blue and white blood. Dad Neil was the club's leading goal kicker three years in a row. So it comes to Lester-Smith. Now Neil coaches the team's forwards, including son Ryan. A lot of people would you know, say, oh, you only get in the game because of your name, but having Dad there, it has helped. Um, it's helped me grow my game, and um, I think I've shown I, I can play. Obviously, the history of this footy club is really big. Blaine Wilson's dad, Dean, played for the Bulldogs too. Blaine managed nine games with the Eagles before being delisted last year. Unfortunately, I wasn't there for as long as what I would have liked to be, but um, I'll still have a, have a good crack this year, and if something comes up, I'll, I'd probably jump at it with both hands. For another former Eagle, Ashton Hams, a move to the Waffle meant a reunion with twin brother Kyle. Growing up in the country town, Katanin, um, not too much to do, so... We're very lucky to have a twin and go to school and play footy together and yeah, it's a big part of our lives. Be blues in the backyard. Yeah. We're there. <laughs> Today it's a contrast in coaching styles. Todd Curley's Bulldogs. You know how we play. Mm -hmm. right? Come on, win the ball. Come win on. the ball, but win it as a group. Alright, and at the end. Can't impact. Against the Sharks led by Steve Malaxis. Manic pressure to push hard to defend all over and like rash, but we need every single player. He'll get vocal to kind of try and pump us up, um, make sure we're ready from that first sign. The expectation is we're in and low first for the ball through the midfield, and there's manic pressure all over the field. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Two proud clubs run onto Fremantle Oval in front of 5,000 die-hard fans. I still really enjoy it. I go every week, um, and I, people are missing out by not coming. And we are underway on Macca's match day on seven mate. In front of what's a terrific crowd, return to the glory days in part with the WAFL. The home side gets off to a flying start. Zalolio oh, brilliantly yeah. gathered round his body. That's how you do it. A three goal lead at quarter time. Curly is cruising. You thought they were on, but they've come out and they've displayed effort. and that's Pretty all really dominant wanted. first quarter, really. Yeah, it's only one quarter. So three we'll to see go. How we go. All right. Malaxis is fuming. Because we want around, we just want to get a kick and a handball and look good. You're not going to win like that. Get your knees dirty, get the ball on the right side of the field. Play as a team, forget the stats, forget one handers, forget playing Hollywood footy. Get down, get dirty, put the pressure on, and forwards take your marks. Let's go. Go, go. 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 Number 45 is 19-year-old Jacob Dragovich, making his league debut from grandparents Jacob, Jacob. to nieces. Go, Jacob! The young man from Munster has brought an army of support. David, how are you feeling watching him play? Um, pretty nervous still, but um, I think he's settled uh, pretty well. Here's something Jacob will always remember. His first goal was a ripper. He needs something special. Got it. An umpire, Kendall oh, Ward, yes. says yes. 
when he left home today, um, his cousin passed away in January and I said to him, play, play this game for Narelle. So that's what he's playing for. Footy is no longer men only. I was a bit worried about it because I've never been into a, a you know, all-male team locker room. Gold medal for Rachel Harris. That's Rachel Harris winning gold at the 1998 Commonwealth Games. Rachel went from the pool to medical school. She's now the South Fremantle club doctor. I love being able to help people fulfil their full potential, I suppose, um, and in sport and exercise medicine, that's a, a really easy thing to do. People are often very motivated to get better, fix their injuries, um, willing to listen to advice you give them. Back on the field, the Sharks have taken a six-point half-time lead. We're all set for a wonderful second half. Yeah, really important that South Fremantle keep their pressure up. In the rooms, it's fruit platters, sweet treats, some tired bodies and a few running repairs. Second quarter, we had 15 tackles, which is the spot on target. First quarter, we had 10. The ball came in quick, we had space, we had movement and we looked alive. Let's get the Fords winning one-on-one -on -one contest. Let's set up behind and let's maintain the pressure for 30 What's this day? By three-quarter time, the lead is 25. It's a pretty handy lead with a quarter to go. Uh, better to be in front than behind, but a long way from home, mate. For the home side, highlights are rare. Until this happens. Lobs it to a dangerous place. Oh! oh. Big mark is it? Saunders! Yeah. Oh. It's been paid! <laughs> Did you give yourself a realistic chance? You hung in the air for a while. Oh, yeah, I went a bit early, but I've always got a realistic chance, I, I think, anyway. It was a bloody good mark. Yeah, cheers, mate. East Fremantle take the four points, but a reminder from the first gamer that there's more to life than footy. Your mum told me you were doing it for your cousin. Yeah, yeah, my cousin passed away with, uh, with cancer last year, and uh, yeah, she was always real supportive, so yeah, this is just for her, so it was good. That's Frio Derby number 368. Our last three quarters were pretty good and it was tight in the last quarter. Yeah, I guess in some ways, uh, typical derby sort of game, yeah. And this holiday Monday, the arch rivals will do it all again. Oh,